Greetings YouTube and welcome to Bubble Hearthing, your righteous retreat to some casual hearthstone. And we are having yet another episode of the Blizzard DQs. Tasty, tasty treats. Actually, it's February now, so I suppose they're Blizzard of the Month that's changed. Hmm. I'll have to go take a look at that. I, I gotta go. I have to, I'll report back to you on that. But anyway, for for today or for the next quest up, we have the Paladin or Warrior Victory. So the two two guys that swing their hammers. They can swing their swords so because they are the Lord's Lords. Okay. So let's see. Do I have decks for both of them? I believe I do. Oh yes, the variety packs and the and the easy money. Okay. Well, let's see. I believe the first one was Paladin. Or warrior, so we'll take a look. Do I want to change anything here? Uh, oh, I have consecration. I totally want to put consecration in there. Okay, cool. Let's, let's definitely do consecration. So what am I going to take out for consecration? What will I take? I want to leave the sea giant. I could take out a storm and champion, maybe. I don't know. Ideally, I'll be playing this in turn four. So is there something I want to take out on turn four? No, no, no. You couldn't look at all these things. They're fantastic. Okay. In that case, there, there's some twos I would like to take out. So, you know, instead of playing two twos on turn four, I can just play, you know, something else. Uh, Frostwolf Warlord, hmm. Alternatively, I could take out turn six thing, so I could play a two and a four. Four and a hero power. Uh, let us... I want to keep that. Let's remove the Razor Van Hunter. I know it's early, but coining into Consecration isn't terrible. And the Frost Floor. All four lord. One on each side of the curve, throwing in two consecrations. Maybe that's a terrible idea. I have a billion turn four things now. It's because the two tr true silvers and the consecrates and the hammers and the novish inventors and the shield masters. At least turn eight comes around and I'm just like golden. But let's see. Yeah. Turn three is looking a little weak. Oh well. Coin it is. There. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Alright, let's do it. So we're going to go ahead. Easy money. Some people doubt how easy the money really is, but when you see, when, once you actually glimpse it, then you can understand the, t the true, the true easiness, the, the maximum easy that this money has. Hmm. Okay. Uther versus Anduin. Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. I will fight with honor. Yes. Okay. There's the Consecrate. There's the Shield Master. I'm almost guaranteed to get other turn four things since there's like a third of my deck revolves around turn four. And and we skip turn four. Okay. Cool. That's okay. I'll probably draw one by turn four. Ooh, not bad. But I mean, it's not great since he can't heal my Fairy Dragon now. Damn. Watch him just go shadow form. I'm like, oh, well, damn, that's actually a thing. Alright, uh, he can't always might it, though. So that's a good thing. Oh, what's that? Y you were thinking about it, and you're like, oh, wait, I can't what do it now. Want? Ugh, really? Really? You're gonna be that guy. I'm gonna play the 2-2 two -two to beat the 3-2. Hey, what can I say? Okay. This is it. See, it only gives it one attack. If it gave you like one health, if it was a mini storm and champion, yeah, that'd be nice. All right. Uh, well, that's just how it's got. It's how it's gonna be. Let's see. I can play a reinforce, and then next turn. Surprisingly, let's. Hmm, let's just hero power right here. Next turn, if I need to, if I don't get a crazy good tune for turn four or something, I can play the raid leader. If he plays anything that has two health, I can just yeah, play that. Oh no! Oh no! He's totally gonna steal my things or whatever. Hey, look at that! All right. Um, I see no reason not to raid leader unless I just want to get more creatures in the field. Uh, I'm worried about turn five, but I still got a couple ways to go for that. Um, extra damage. Or creature. Let me think. Three. Uh, next turn I can play a two and a three. So let's play a dragon and another recruit and hit him in the face. There you go. The first blood has been spilt.
That means I win. He's drastically reacting, but he played... Well, see, so, so the... So the three attack minion was the correct play, as you can see. Okay, I'm glad I made the right choice. Otherwise I would have had to throw a raid leader and a recruit into Iron for Grizzly. Is he wondering with it? Give it a power word shield? Well, if he was wondering, he didn't wonder too long. Okay. So he turned five, so right, I can play the raid leader if I want. Uh, I can throw two recruits at it. That's all I really could do there. Hmm. They are expendable, but at the same time, it's much more efficient just to throw a fairy dragon. I don't think he's going to be able to do... Like, if he can do one damage across the board, he can do two damage. I don't know, I mean, it makes them elven archer vulnerable, but I don't think that's really a concern of mine. So there we go there. Um, the battle. And now the damage actually would be the same. The battle. There we go. Four damage to his face. And... Let's play another recruit. Reporting for duty. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Oh, is that the Holy Smite? That's a Shadow Word Pain. Oh, actually, I put my dragon into a nice four attack. Even though it doesn't really matter so much because he couldn't target it with the spell. And I'm supposed to handle it. Oh, I really want to. I really want to so I don't have to lose my, my thing. I mean, I've been pretty much in control of the game so far. He hasn't played much of anything. Um, unless you play something with charge, I'm not actually worried at all either. Uh, so, let's just attack him. To battle? Pardon me there. There's my one Aldor Peacekeeper. Nothing turn four. No four cost things. This baffles me. My mind is blown. I guess I can keep that in case he manages to steal. If he happens to have stolen a true silver champion. Although I feel as though he would have played it. But, who knows. I mean, I don't know his hand, and it feels like he's been making quite a few subpar plays lately. Let's see, that is a better target for an Argent Commander. I will say that much. You just... Oh, uh, okay. But, no, it's fine. Yeah, you know what? I see no reason not to, unless I want to... If I really want to play a Stormer Champion, I don't feel the need to. Aside from the fact that, you know, it doesn't actually have 5 attack. For some reason I thought it had 6 because it cost 6, but that's okay. Because that's what recruits are for, right? Okay, slight display, but it is not an issue at all. I would have done the same thing either way, so. Just something I had to realize. Okay. So I haven't down to 18 health, and he hasn't touched me at all. He hasn't no. done much of anything, actually. Oh, here we go. Is he gonna... Just to heal a little bit more? It still would've wiped my board either way. Even without the Geomancer, but... It's not a bad menu just to put on the field. Finally a turn four! Finally a four mana cost thing! Ah, okay. Um... I hope you like my invention. Don't feel like I need the... Stormwind Champion just yet. Uh, so let's see. I don't want to play the ooze, because it would die immediately. Let us... Taunt and recruit. There we go. How does he react to this? Of course, technically I was reacting to his Geomancer. But I feel like I have the, the board superiority now. He reacts with his Stormwind Champion. Well, we know what's going to happen with that. Oh, please buff it. Please buff his attack somehow. I don't know that you can, but, but do it. Just do it. Somehow buff his attack. Now, nah, power or shield and the Geomancer. Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess that saves it from dying right away. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? Follow the rule. Oh, hold on. I can do it better. <coughs> Follow the rules. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I just can't. Follow the rules. I can't get it. I don't know. He's an alien. I am not an alien, therefore. Just just can't do it. Okay. 
Well, if I play my own champion, then I go to negative one mana, and I, I die instantly. So, uh, I can Divine Shield, my Shield Master, and I feel like that's just the right thing to do. On second thought, Raid Leader? <laughs> raid much? Okay. Leader much? Maybe? Little? Okay. And we can do that. Uh, let's see here. Do we really want to take out his creature? No. It's a 1 6. It buffs his creatures, though. We can kill it. And only lose one thing. Uh, yeah. I really do want to kill that. Because it's still a big threat. Uh, I don't really want to put a divine thing on that. Let's play that. There we go. Okay. I feel good. Feeling good. Let's see, this is just about game. Too off from... Not too off from Fatal. But, let's see, this is... 14 damage. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't realize the microphone was quite right there. Let's see, he's freezing up. Why would he even freeze the 4-1? Is he just scared of a taunt for some reason? I don't I don't I don't understand that play at all. Maybe so I don't just make a simple trade with it. Well, look at that. Alrighty. Um It's not bad. Let's play the Stormwind Champion. Get some more damage out before I throw my raid leader or something. Actually I can just throw the Ecetic Swamp Ooze at it. So let's hit him in the face. And we're gonna hit him in the face. And we're gonna it's all a taunt. Kill this creature. I understand, I just said I still have a taunt. But... Play a little recruit, don't really need to go crazy. There's no reason to leave a creature on the side of the field. Absolutely zero reason to do that. And, and given the possibility of, of coming back. I like the way this game's playing out. I'm not worried about the Berserker at all. Give him some more health. I'm not even gonna hit him. Fine. You have that. There we go. Okay. So, okay. You got the idea. Um, it seems like he really had a slow start from the very beginning. He just probably had a really bad hand. But that is how we win. Like I said, easy money, right? Yeah. Okay. So, thank you for tuning in to this, uh, this part one of the, there we go, of the Blizzard DQs. I will be posting part two shortly with the variety packs. I don't believe... I think I actually unlocked the Korokron. I believe I did. So I will be either playing with that or I'll be playing to unlock the Korokron Elite. We'll see. Um, but this has been Bubble Herthing signing out.